This is the Gigabyte G5, which might just be the cheapest laptop out there with an RTX 4060. Let's dive into this laptop and see if it's as tasty as it sounds. All right, let's crack open the lid on this bad boy. At the heart of the Gigabyte G5 is the Intel i5-12500H processor and a shiny RTX 4060 with a max TGP of 75 watts, which is quite the surprise to see on this laptop's price point, which by the way is under 900 bucks. Now taking a stroll down memory lane, we've got 8 gigs of single channel RAM. I know, I know, it's like showing up to a buffet with a small plate. But don't fret, there are two slots so you can upgrade and utilize the dual channel capabilities, which I highly recommend, but more to that later on in our game testing. As for your storage needs, there's a 5 to 12 gigs SSD with room for a plus one if you're looking to expand later on. Let's talk about that screen. It's a nice 15.6 inch 1080p display. Now it might not be the most color accurate or the brightest since it can only reach 300 nits, but with a refresh rate of 144 hertz, it's smoother than this slide in Boston. Design-wise, it's very minimalistic and all plastic, which you can expect on such a budget-oriented device, but it's surprisingly sturdy. I mean, you'll still get a ton of flex, but not nearly as much as I would have expected from it. Oh, and by the way, the hinge deserves a slow clap. It feels stiff and sturdy, but you can still flick it open with one finger. Now, as for the keyboard, it's got RGB, but it's the kind of RGB that's like choosing one flavor of ice cream. No sprinkles, no swirls, just one color at a time. But typists beware. It's not built for a typing marathon, but for gaming, it's still your reliable sidekick. And with all that package, it only weighs in at just 4.63 pounds with a thickness of 0.89 inches. As for the ports, it's like a Swiss army knife. It's got everything from two USB-A ports, two USB-C 3.2 ports, separate jacks for your headphone and mic, a micro SD slot for your photo dumps, gigabit ethernet for reliable gaming, and it has an HDMI 2.0, and a mini display port for your external display needs. The battery life's a bit of a roller coaster, but you can chill for up to 5 hours, and it can drop down to 1.5 hours when you're pushing it hard. Not great, but still far from the worst. Now, as for the gaming performance, we tested three games, all at high preset settings at 1080p with DLSS on. Here's what we got. For Hogwarts Legacy, you'll fly on your broom at a smooth 130 FPS. The Last of Us? A solid 84 FPS while running from the infected. CS Go? You'll get that win with an eye-watering 250 FPS. But then there's a plot twist. The single channel 8 gig RAM can't keep up, especially when you're going through loading zones, and it will stutter your frame rates down to numbers that would make a tortoise giggle. To iron out those stutters, I recommend filling the empty RAM slot on this laptop. I'm sure after all that, you'll be left with smooth and consistent FPS rates. I'm leaving a link in the description for the RAM stick. That wraps up our tour of the Gigabyte G5. It's like a budget-friendly superhero in disguise, not without its quirks, but with a little love and RAM. It could save your day. You can scan this QR code or click the link in the description if you want to check out the laptop. Before you go, smash that subscribe button because you don't want to miss what we've got coming up next. Until then, keep it light and keep those games running right. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.